So. <coughs> Got it. Okay, so in this example, they're giving us the vertices at 6, negative 8 and 6, 4. Um, then they're giving us co-vertices at 3, negative 2 and 9, negative 2. And they're asking us to write the equation of the um, ellipse. Now, there's a problem here. There's two equations that we have for an ellipse, right? One that has a major axis that's horizontal and one that has a major axis that's vertical. They're two different equations. Well, they're kind of the similar, but the A and the B are you know, in different spots, right? So the first thing we need to do, we don't even know what formula we can use. So the best thing, guys, the always piece of advice, when you guys work a word problem, the first thing you guys should always try to do also when doing a word problem is always to draw a picture, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have information that we can plot, right? So let's plot what this information is telling us. So I'll take an xy graph. And it says 6, negative 8. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to go negative 8 and up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are my two vertices. Right? Right. OK. Then I have co-vertices at 3, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And then also at 9, comma, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, comma, negative 2. So those are my co-vertices. Now, I can kind of sketch a graph, see what it's going to kind of look like, something like that. Nope. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if I kind of sketch a graph, what does this kind of look like it's going to resemble? In a one where my major axis is vertical or horizontal? Vertical. And obviously, guys, you know that your major axis connects your major axis connects your two um, vertices anyways. So automatically, just by connecting my two vertices, what I'm able to find is, yeah, it's going to be a vertical, right? Then I notice that since it's going to be vertical, remember there's a couple things. The distance from one vertice to the next is 2a, right? So I know that from here to here is 2a. But to write the equation, I need to figure out what the center is. So I need to say, what is the distance from here to over here? And that distance is? Well, what is 2a equal to? What is that distance? 12. So then I divide by 2, and I can say a equals 6. I'm sorry? Where did I get a? The distance of the major axis is 2a. I know that distance from vertice to vertice. You could either use the distance formula for here, or you could simply just say, oh, I go up to 4, go down to 0 is 4, and then go down 8, so it's, I'm traveling 12. So therefore, a equals 6. So therefore, my, my, ver, um, my center, we know, is on your major axis. But now it's going to be down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my center is now where? 6, comma, negative 2. And I need to know that to write the equation, right? You have to know what the center is. Now, so I know my center, and I know my dis I know A is 6. The last piece of information I need to figure out is what is B. So remember, B is the dis or 2B is your minor axis. So I could say 2B. Now, you could easily just count this how it is to your center. You could say the center is 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3. But let's just make sure. So I go from um, covectrix to covertex. How far did I travel? I traveled six units, right? So you could say 2b equals 6, divide by 2, divide by 2, b equals 3, which we already knew. We kind of, you know, since we graphed it, it's, that's why I like graphing it, Sam um, Samantha, so I can just count them. But just to make sure, we know that b equals 3. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that I know b. I know a, and I know the center. Is it possible now for us to write the equation? Yes. Yeah. Um, and we, need, and we know that since it's vertical, we know that our major axis A is going to be under our y. So our formula we need to make sure we use is x minus h squared plus y, pl y minus k squared equals 1. And over A is going to be b squared. Over y is going to be a squared. So now we just plug in our values that we know. 
So therefore, opposite of, so it's going to be x minus 6 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 1. And then my b squared, so we know b is 3, so b squared is 9. Over a squared is 6, so a is going to equal 36. And there you go. Yeah? Lots of minus. See? Good? Okay. Ava, good. Samantha, good. Juliana Fafiele.